So Watchdog Legion was finally unveiled at Ubisoft's press conference at E3. And I've got to say, the game looks absolutely incredible. It looks incredibly ambitious and exciting. Um, I was blown away by the gameplay footage and presentation that was shown. And in my opinion, it stole the show. Now, originally, Watch Dogs Legion was very low on my list. I wasn't massively interested in the game, but since seeing some of the gameplay and hearing more about it and researching the game, it's now probably in my top top five most anticipated games of 2020 and that's saying something because 2020 at the moment is looking like an incredible year there are so many amazing games lined up to come out next year uh, but Watch Dogs Legion is definitely one of them this game sounds so ambitious and so interesting and if Ubisoft can pull it off it will be an amazing experience so let me talk about the three kind of pillars um, why I think this game looks incredibly ambitious and exciting for Firstly, we have the new location. The most interesting part for me is the fact that you can play as anyone in the game and also the new mechanic of permadeath. For those three reasons, I think this game looks really interesting and exciting and it's taking the, the franchise in new and interesting directions. It's really great to see Ubisoft push themselves here and really go out of their comfort zone and try something new, something innovative. So I'm very, very excited. Let's start off by talking about the new location. So obviously Watch Dogs 1 and 2 was very much limited to the US um, specifically Chicago in the first game and San Francisco in the second game. Don't get me wrong I really enjoyed those locations particularly San Francisco which I thought was an incredibly beautiful uh, setting in the second game but it's really great to see that Watch Dogs is finally going global and that it's actually going to Europe specifically London. So when asked why they chose London the developers basically gave a couple of reasons. They said the primary reason was the fact that it is the most surveilled city in the world. And apparently, I don't know whether these facts are, are, are accurate or correct, but apparently for every 10 people, there is at least one camera, which blows my mind. Um, it's also an incredibly culturally diverse city with over 200 spoken languages. So it's set in a post-Brexit uh, futuristic version of London. The look and design of London looked absolutely absolutely incredible. As a Brit, it's really interesting for me to see things in London that are incredibly recognizable, but are also really alien at the same time. And I, th I found that really interesting. So apparently, um, Bloom, after the disaster and embarrassment in the US, um, after the end of Watch Dogs 2, have gone to Europe and are trying to rebrand themselves as CTOS Europe. The government after Brexit has effectively abandoned the people and a private military company called Albion have actually taken control of the city. There are mass deportations, surveillance everywhere, arrests happening all the time, and people are pretty much living in fear. The London in the game is massive. Apparently it spans eight unique boroughs and the London Underground will be used as a fast travel system as well. Apparently there will, will also, of course, be vehicles in the game. This is a Watch Dogs title, guys. So if there weren't uh, driver vehicles and motorbikes and cars in the game um, I'd be incredibly surprised but what's really new and different is that these vehicles um, are actually autonomous so uh, they will actually drive themselves you can hack them and drive them yourself uh, from point A to point B but you can actually just sit in and let them drive you from location to location as you sort of take in London and take in the area so that's really interesting your basic goal is to recruit members to DedSec and to build a resistance against Albion, CTOS Europe and the crime bosses that control the city. Apparently there are going to be five main storylines, each which will focus around core themes of the game. So we know three of them um, are focusing on uh, pri the private military and corporations, organized crime in the city and also technology and what's going on with Bloom. Those are three of the confirmed themes for the storylines that we could be expect to be exploring. I've got to say I love the look and style of London I think it looks really interesting and I'm really looking forward to exploring um, every nook and cranny and, and seeing you know Ubisoft's vision um, for London in, in a darker more sort of futuristic almost cyberpunk-esque um, kind of feel the most important part for this, this game though and the most interesting part of the reveal was the fact that you can play as anyone in the world it is a living and breathing city it is full of full 
fully crafted, fully animated, voice acted and dynamic NPCs. And you can play as anyone. So I guess effectively they're no longer NPCs because obviously NPC stands for non-playable character. You can actually scan each character um, and it will bring up profile information on their strengths, weaknesses, um, their life and their opinion of dead sick. They continue to live their lives, have relationships, have motivations, jobs, love lives, the whole the whole shebang. Um, as you explore through the game, they will carry on their lives and it's about sort of hacking into the, their, their lives and finding out um, which members you're wanting to pick up and to recruit into DedSec. Now, how can you actually see all this information? Well, apparently everyone has a magnet under their skin um, in their skull um, and actually a chip which connects directly to their optic nerve. So they can always see and access VR um, and it also makes it much easier for CTOS Europe and Albion to monitor and collect data on each person. Apparently, it's been made law um, that everyone must have this magnet and this chip. So how can you build such a dynamic world? Well, the game apparently is built on an entirely new software um, that Ubisoft created called Census. It's a relationable database, apparently. So every NPC, every character in in the world um, will have their own unique um, gender, race, uh, places where people are born, uh, sexual orientation, relationships, work, beliefs. They will be a fully uh, crafted character, a fully generated character. So how can you actually recruit them to dead sec? Well, firstly, you have to look at their opinion. So each character in the world will have a specific opinion of dead sec. Some will like dead sec, some will not, um, depending on their experiences and what what they know or what little they do know, what they don't know of dead sec. So the idea is that you have to increase their opinion of dead sec so it becomes more favorable. So you, this might involve doing some research on that character, um, finding out about their life, if they have any problems in their life that need fixing, um, uh, doing any favors for them, anything like that, um, that will basically build up their opinion. Once their opinion of dead sec reaches 100%, um, you then can actually start a recruitment mission, which is kind of like their origin mission. And this will sort of um, allow you to get to know that character even more. And obviously, if you do carry out the recruitment mission, you can then bring them on board. Once you recruit them into DedSec, you can then choose three playable classes, an Enforcer, Hacker, and Infiltrator. The Enforcer is your typical run and gun class, so they're good with firearms. And they also have an ability, which is a sticky mine. The hacker is um, more about remote control and they actually have a spider bot which you can use to infiltrate into areas and hack things. You can even use it to take down enemies in this kind of lightning, this this sort of like shock, um, like face hugger type thing from Alien. Um, and then you have the infiltrator. The infiltrator is a stealth and melee class and they come equipped with an AR cloak. Um, think Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. Once you choose Choose the class. These characters are then further customizable um, with options. So there are three unlockable perks um, and there is full customization in terms of your clothing and your style and the way that you look. So there are shops in the world that you can buy clothing from and, and style out your character. They showed this in the live stream um, at Ubisoft's um, on Ubisoft's uh, Twitch site. You can switch freely between each operative in the open world. So if you bring up the world map, it will actually show you where they are based in the world and you can switch freely to them. So you can use them as a kind of a fast travel point, but also if you see there's a main mission here, you can choose you know, which uh, operative you're wanting to take into that. What is really interesting is that these characters then become part of your story. So it almost feels like you're crafting your own story in a way down to the experiences that you're having. Each character will be fully acted and animated um, and they will actually show up in cutscenes and these cutscenes will play out differently uh, depending on who you're playing. So you'll get different dialogue responses, uh, different uh, tones and, and uh, reactions to what's going on in the cutscenes and obviously different voice acting and facial animation. So that's really interesting. You know, it, it is going to make 
your experience of the Watchdogs Legion very unique for you and I, I think that's incredibly ambitious and I'm really interested to see how that's going to play out how that's going to work the other feature that's got me really nervous and excited as well is permadeath so there are definite consequences to your actions in the world every character you can recruit can die if you get taken down you you do have the option to either surrender or carry on fighting if you surrender what will basically happen is you get arrested and then that character will be spend time in jail and will eventually be released to sort of rejoin the game later on you can also get injured so if your character does get injured they can spend some time in hospital as well apparently and sort of be out of the game in in that way. Or if you continue to fight, you can actually die, and then you lose that character completely. I found that really interesting because with with the way they're making it sound, you know, you're going to research these characters, find out everything about their lives, what makes them tick, their families, their relationships, really get to know them and then and then you know work to bring them on board and then you know that's going to increase that sense of attachment that we have uh, to those characters that investment to those characters that we've gotten to know and that we've gone through those experience with and then to have the possibility of losing them as well I think is really really interesting you can play the missions um, in any way that you want depending on which class you choose but the developers have said that uh, there are definite consequences to your actions so if you do kill certain enemies or you go down that violent route you know those enemies have their own lives they have their own friends family children um, that live and exist in the world and then obviously if you go ahead and kill them um, that's going to affect not only you know their family but also your standing and how people are viewing you if you're going out killing people willy-nilly um, then obviously you know people's opinion of dead sec is, is going to massively deteriorate and they have said they're wanting to encourage that non-violent options to give you more non-violent options because it was one of the major criticisms laid against Watch Dogs 2 so they have said that there are going to be um, about half the weapons that are non-violent they have developed a robust melee system which is upgraded and modernized and they've also invested a lot of time into stealth mechanics Um, What's really interesting as well is if you don't pull out your gun, so say if you're trying to stealth into an area and you get spotted, um, if you don't pull out your gun, then enemies will not pull their gun on you. Um, and if you react quick enough, you may actually be able to defuse the situation with a quick melee takedown. So that's interesting because sometimes when we're in stealth and it goes horribly wrong, uh, we, you know, inevitably you end up having to pull out your gun and just kill everyone. Um, so it will be interesting. To, to be able to sort of see how those interactions play out but it just looks absolutely incredible um, we also have a confirmed release date for Watch Dogs Legion which is coming out on the 6th of March 2020 so the day before my birthday I cannot wait to play Watch Dogs Legion I think it looks incredible I love the setting I love the idea of playing as anyone in the world I'm super interested to see how that actually works how that actually ties into the story and then this whole permadeath mechanic as well um, has me really intrigued and I, I, it's going to feel like an RPG um, you know in terms of that character development consequences and choices and you know getting that connection to those characters and building that team of of um, you know dead set members I mean that they I've already seen a couple in that gameplay reveal Helen for one um, 80 year old ex assassin granny that it was just hilarious to see and she just looked absolutely incredible I want to build a team of grannies that are going to save London and it just looks it looks great I cannot wait to see uh, what Watch Dogs Legion has to offer and I just think it looks incredibly ambitious and very very exciting and it's one of my most anticipated games next year as a result of that so let me know what you guys think of Watch Dogs Legion what did you guys think of the reveal are you looking forward to it what are your thoughts on the new mechanics let me know in the comment section below Hope you guys are having a great week. Take care, and as always, happy gaming. Bye, guys.